Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. It's been a while, huh? How long has it been? Almost two months? Not gonna lie, after uploading my DIY no-touch alcohol dispenser project, which you can watch right here by the way, I thought that I would be able to upload more videos. But no oh, no no no, you know me, I'm lazy, gets easily sidetracked and likes to procrastinate. Then, I saw my analytics and everything is going downhill. So I have finally decided to finish the review of my new wireless ergonomic or let's say vertical mouse. The M618DB from Deluxe. Let's go! Okay, here is the box. Here are some of its features, vertical shape, well of course, capable of both 2.4G and Bluetooth 4.0 connections. Okay, I'm not going into the specifics, but basically when a gadget or peripheral device is capable of 2.4G wireless connection, it means that it would communicate with a USB dongle via radio using the 2.4GHz frequency where the mouse is the transmitter and the USB dongle is both the receiver and the decoder of the signal which would be passed on to the computer and then the computer would perform the said commands like a mouse click or a mouse drag. It's like how you can control a remote controlled car. The remote control itself is the transmitter and then the car is both the receiver and decoder which also performs the commands it receives from the remote control. It has Bluetooth connection so that you can use it on a mobile phone, tablet, smart TV or other things. It also has a built-in 500mA lithium-ion battery. Okay for some quick specs, the size is 115mm in length, 80.7mm wide and 75.2mm in height. It has 6 keys, left, right, scroll wheel key, DPI switch, and forward and back keys. 5 DPI settings, 800, 1200, 1600, 2400, and 4000. Working voltage of 5 volts and working current of less than or equal to 500 milliamps. And of course, just like a lot of wireless peripherals on the market, it has a USB cable which is 1.4 meters in length. The provided cable is a USB-A to USB-C cable which can be used to charge the device while using it. It also has different color variations. So here it is. I've been using this for about more than two months now. Please don't mind this velcro sticker here. I put it there myself for some reason that will be revealed later. Here are the six keys, forward and back. DPI switch, scroll wheel key, and left and right keys. This is the Bluetooth switch which you need to press to use the Bluetooth function, and the power switch to turn it on or off. It has a static RGB profile which you can turn on or off by pressing the left, right, and scroll wheel key. I have connected the receiver or USB dongle to the USB port of my Corsair K70 RGB Mark II. Here it is. If you're going to bring the mouse with you when you travel or when you're not going to use it, you can just conveniently put the dongle right here to not lose it. Now, the reason why I have added a velcro sticker here is because I'm having some trouble gripping the mouse when my hand becomes a little bit sweaty and because the mouse's finish is just smooth plastic without some sort of rubber coating or design that is specifically added for extra grippage. Grippage? Is that even a word? I don't know. There's a tendency for the mouse to slip out of my hand when I use it. I mean, compared to my other vertical mouse which has some sort of rubber coating that I really like, check out my unboxing right here. The M618DB1 clearly has inferior grip. If only my other vertical mouse's scroll wheel and button did not start to malfunction, I honestly wouldn't buy a new one. Just in case you're wondering why I have so many mice, the reason is mainly because I'm at the front of my desk all day. I use my computer for work, gaming, and entertainment. I don't usually go outside unless I really need to. And because I use my computer all day, there's a tendency for my mild, self-diagnosed RSI to creep up from time to time. And so, to alleviate or sometimes get rid of the pain, I switch mice to change the angle of my hand when I use the mouse. This memory foam wrist rest really does help a lot as well. Check the video right here if you want. Here's how the button clicks sound. Forward and back buttons, left and right keys, DPI switch, scroll wheel, and button. What else? 
Ah, yes. Here are the things inside the box. The mouse, of course, the USB dongle, instruction manual, and the USB cable. Now for the review. The built-in 500 milliamp ion What? The built-in 500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery lasts for roughly 5 to 6 days with around 8 to 15 hours of usage per day according to the uptime details on the task manager. Charging time is about 2 hours and 25 minutes or let's just say 2 and a half hours. Yes, it does take that long. I even looked for my old cheapo action cam and used it as a webcam to record the whole charging process and find out how many hours it would take to fully charge the battery. In its defense, you can still use it while it's charging by connecting the included USB-A to USB-C cable to your computer. It also has some sort of battery saving feature where it would turn itself off or go on standby mode when the mouse is not used for around 1 minute. The mouse itself feels robust despite it being entirely made of plastic. Feels a little heavier than my wired vertical mouse probably because of the battery and Bluetooth module inside, no biggie. It glides smoothly across my desk pad whenever I use it. The RGB ring around its logo is a nice touch. However, it would be much better if there's an option to change the effect and if the logo also lights up to better match the theme of your computer. Connection is not an issue, battery life is not an issue, fits my hand just right. My main gripe about this mouse is obviously its lack of gripping surface. What I mean by that is like what I've mentioned earlier, its finish is just smooth plastic. No grip specific design or better yet, a sort of rough or rubberized coating. Yes, you can argue that it's my hands fault for being a little sweaty sometimes but still. Then again, it's just a bit more expensive than my other vertical mouse and it is 3 times way cheaper than my gaming mouse. All in all, feature and battery life wise, I think it's a good mouse for its price. Hoping that it would last for more than a year though. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you again next week, maybe.